is Carter Sports back. And today we head out to USC to check out this DB battle that's finna take place this spring. So let's go. And if you been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Trojan DBs that's headed to this spring camp this year, stepping into a battlefield. Everybody heard about the signings of safety, Achille Arnold out of Oregon State. Hard no safety, who plays hard and physical, you hear me? They also added safety, Komari Ramsey, who plays with a high IQ and was the top rated freshman at safety in the country out of UCLA. You also got DBs like the Carlos Nicholson out of Mississippi State who was a great addition and I can't wait to see him in person and John Humphrey out of UCLA with good cover skills. Both two long and rangy corners with NFL potential written all over them. This is a loaded DB transfer class, and most predictions seem to think these kids will start in the fall. And why not? All the transfers started at their last school's last season and was an integral part of their team defense. The players don't transfer to sit the bench. I can promise you that. But the Trojans already on the roster gonna have something to say about that as they all thirsty for playing time at this point in their respective careers. At safety, you got Zion Branch who spent his first two seasons mostly recovering from two knee injuries. Damn. It's highly unfortunate this kid got the injury bug because he possesses uber talent at the safety position and came in expecting to make an impact early for the Trojans. This is his third year in college, so I know he hungry. And I expect his mindset coming into this season is to make an impact on the field. And just too much talent and expectations for Zion Branch. I would hate for this kid not to reach his full potential. Then you probably got the most versatile DB out the group who started at safety during the Holiday Bowl and balled out and tallied up 12 tackles, which was big for SC. Jalen Smith is a consistent underrated player. He kind of remind me of Taj Washington, but on the defensive side of the ball. And the fact that he's not great in all facets of his game, but he's very good in all facets of his game. You could play him at any DB spot and he go excel and compete. Evidence he played nickel back this season, then hopped that safety and made a smooth transition like it wasn't nothing to have 12 tackles in the bowl game. Then you have Jacoby Covington, who came on strong at the end of the year. A long ranging corner who low key put together some strong performances at the end of the season. It seems like the game is finally slowing down 
for Jacoby. And he's turning the corner. No pun. Is it a fluke or is it growth or was it the change of coaching? Either way, Jacoby was a different corner by season's end playing exceptional ball. You also got Dracon Figgins, the Alabama transfer who came to XC with high potential and ability but didn't see the field at all until Grinch left for the most part. But like Jacoby Covington, as the season went on, he got better and better and received more playing time. And the Holiday Bowl is where he received most of his playing time. And guess what? He balled out. If y'all didn't notice, he got very fluid hips and can cover without getting handsy and drawing penalties. Traycon Figgins deserved to be on the field last year, so I know he hungry this year. Plus, Traycon has a brother, Anquan Figgins, one of the top-rated safeties in the 2025 class who was formerly committed to USC, then decommitted once he seen his brother riding the bench. Then once his brother started playing, he started to train the USC again. So to be honest, Traquan need to see the field or Anquan not coming to 25. And that's just facts. And don't forget about Melica Crawford, a highly touted DB coming out of high school standing at 6'4", 205 pounds. Gonna get a look as well. His prototype is a Richard Sherman type DB. He can press and use his size or he can play back and use his range. He registered last year, so it'll be interesting to see his development coming into this season. Cornerback depth could be a strength or weakness this year, depending on the development of Crawford, Figgins, and Brown. Speaking of Prophet Brown, another corner who didn't receive any playing time until Grinch left, he started to get more playing time by the Holiday Bowl came. He was starting playing very well and showed either he developed or he just should have been on the field the whole damn time and was just a victim of Alex Grinch favoritism towards Bryson Shaw. And speaking of Bryson Shaw, he going to get another shot as well. Bryson seemed to play better once his fade coach was gone. Bryson can play, you just gotta put him in the right position. Keep him away from the speedy, shifty receivers and running back. Keep him out of man coverage, and he can excel in zone situations or against slower possession, wide receivers. You also have Anthony Beaver, another physical, versatile DB. He shines in the run game and can cover as well. Seem to make plays are always around a ball in the run game. Look for Anthony Beavers to have something to say about the two deep roster. Cause this kid could play corner, nickel, and safety. Watch out for Ant Beav, one of my favorite players on the team. Whenever he got playing time, it just seemed like this kid was making plays. So USC got bodies at DB with talent and ability. So it's going to be interesting to see how it play out. Especially because you got another DB that's going to be vying for time. Freshman Christian Pierce who played last year. Hard hitting safety. Another physical DB that we got on the team. The prototypical safety seems to always be in the right place at the right time. He a ball hawk in the passing game. He had several interceptions in high school and had a couple picks in the spring game. This kid got a knack for finding the ball. A true safety, hard-hitting traditional. Like this kid with sneaky athleticism. CP, Christian Pierce, gonna have something to say as well. So it's gonna be war to make that 2 deep roster. And it's going to be vital that this position group excel. It's going to be like the good old days of the Carroll administration. A highly competitive practices every day, every down on that Howard Jones practice field. You hear me? 
Então a teoria is Carter's Sports, is USC, is Trojan Cities. So let's go.